The following video will show a user how to clean a 300 series Cambridge viscometer sensor. 301 311 392 321 322 You will need the following supplies to clean the sensor. Forceps included in the accessory kit. Please avoid coarse pliers that could gouge the stainless steel surface of the measurement chamber. The supplied Allen wrench. A 2 inch length of 1 and a quarter inch ID clear tubing. Foam tipped swabs. A known viscosity testing fluid. A charged canister of clean gas for blowing the sensor out. This is optional. A non abrasive solvent for your process fluid. Lint free tissues. These all come in an accessories kit except for the CO2 and the solvent. In most cases, cleaning of a 300 series sensor can be accomplished within just a few minutes. Step 1. Remove the sensor from the process line making sure the cable connections are not stressed or twisted in any way. Use the supplied Allen wrench to remove the set screw holding the deflector in place. Note: Never remove the sensor cable from either the electronics or the sensor with the power applied to the unit. Step 2. Use the forceps to remove the piston from the sensor. Take care not to scratch the walls of the measurement chamber. Step 3. Use a non-abrasive solvent to clean out the process fluid in the sensor. Step 4. Use clean, foam-tipped swabs to scrub the measurement chamber clean. Step 5. Blow the measurement chamber dry with clean air, carbon dioxide, nitrogen, or another source. Step 6. Use solvent and lint-free tissues to thoroughly clean the piston. Step 7. Carefully reinsert the piston. We have now shown you how to clean the 311 sensor. This method applies to all 300 series sensors except the 372 and 374. Cleaning is the most critical step for viscosity measurement verification. We will now show you how to verify the sensor's viscosity measurement. We're now going to show you how to verify the accuracy of your Visco Pro 2000. The same technique can be used to verify the accuracy of the Visco Pro 1600. However, if the 1600 does not have the optional display, viscosity and temperature information can be obtained through the 4 to 20 milliamp signals or through the RS-485 serial connection. Verifying the accuracy of the system can be accomplished using the following procedures. In order to provide the maximum accuracy, it is important to place the sensor in the same position as when it was calibrated. To test a viscometer sensor, you're going to need the following supplies. Up-to-date calibration fluid with tables. One and a quarter inch tubing to create a fluid reservoir. A fan. Your Cambridge sensor and electronics. The sensor and electronics are symbiotic. Each electronics box is calibrated specifically to a sensor and a piston. Step 1. Pour a small amount of test fluid into the chamber and use a clean foam tip swab to wipe the chamber clean. This helps remove any solvent from the chamber. Step 2. Place the 1 quarter inch tubing over the end of the sensor to create a fluid reservoir. Mount the sensor at 45 degrees upward from the horizontal and add the test fluid until it covers the mouth of the measurement chamber completely. It's recommended you discard the first sample of calibration fluid and introduce fresh sample to prevent possible cross-contamination. Step 3. Place a small desk fan a short distance from the sensor. The fan is used to mimic fluid flow around the sensor and to assist it to reach thermal stabilization. The sensor will now thermally stabilize. This should take 5 to 10 minutes. After the sensors reach thermal stability, viscosity and temperature values can be compared to the viscosity tables provided. You now know how to verify viscosity for a 300 series Cambridge sensor. This will verify that your viscometer is measuring viscosity correctly. This is for the majority of applications using Cambridge process sensors. Not all viscometers are the same. Please contact Cambridge Viscosity's service department with any questions. Thank you.